so at this point this is my landing so there's my head there's my back there's my head there's my back and then there's my legs and then as I fall I've never been able to do this in my life my legs completely go to even out with my torso and I've never been able to bend my leg past the most I've probably been able to bend was probably this much so I'm already overextending my range as it is and then at this point the next frame I fold into a pretzel you, you, you kind of go out of shot but basically my the snowboard is behind my head and that didn't feel too good to be sad <laughs> this is not this is just my mom has you know, no you're fine man yeah. you get to take a helicopter yeah. ride yeah. kind of jealous kind of jealous man hey chris yeah what's going on are you coming with no i'll meet you down back home i gotta drive right. your car we'll remember play tic -tac -toe we'll play tic-tac-toe play some call of duty he loves his mom <laughs> yeah Sweet. See you later, Dave. Let's break this whole thing down so you understand what happened to me. Let's break it down into the who, what, where, when, and why. But of course you know what happened, so obviously we don't need to say that. But who was I with? I was with my buddy Chris and it was just us two. Where were we at? We were at Alpine Valley Ski Resort and it's on, it's by the border of Illinois and Wisconsin, but it's in Wisconsin. So it's about two hours away from my house. <coughs> Ooh, sneezes. <laughs> okay, so how did this happen? It happened like this. It was getting towards the end of the day. We were about to do a couple more runs and I say to Chris, hey, why don't we go off the big jumps and the larger train parks? You know, end the video right. And he says, you know, I, I guess so, but I really just want to stick with the rails and the boxes and cruise around and have fun like we were doing. And of course me, I need to go to the extreme, I need to do the most, I need to just... It's got to be the biggest. And that wasn't a smart idea, obviously. So I have him set up the camera by the jump. And the jump that I go off of, it's about, it's, it's 10, 10 to 12 feet high. The launching ramp is 10 to 12 feet high. And the gap between the launch pad and the landing pad was roughly around 15 feet. So I had to have about a 15 foot gap to land it. And the first time he videotaped me, it was, it was all right. I, you know, I made it, but I went too slow. You know, I, I went off and I just nicked the landing pad with the back of the snowboard. So I'm like, damn it, you know, I got to get a better shot of this. I went too slow. So I decided I better go faster and I better jump higher. And that wasn't a good idea. So he gets me the second time. And as I'm going off the jump, I push extra hard and the board comes out from under me. And as it's coming out from under me, I see this, and I'm like, oh my god, I am really high. So I start waving my arms, like, back and forth, or like a, you know, like a windmill motion, trying to balance myself out, but that it was too late by then. As I'm trying to brace myself, I'm thinking, oh, fuck. This is going to be bad. Excuse my language, by the way. And I fell about 25 feet onto man-made snow. And if you don't know what man-made snow is, it's practically ice thrown into a machine. And it has no cushion. So if you go into Utah and you fall into that powder, good for you. But out in the Midwest, it's all man-made and it hurts like a son of a bee. And it's basically like falling onto ice. So I fell 25 feet onto a bed of ice, basically, and lived to tell about it which is a miracle in itself. 
Which leads me to the bones that I broke. I broke my neck, I broke my lower back, and I broke my femur. And what the femur is, is the spot between your hip and your kneecap. That's the bone that it is. It's also the strongest bone. Which is crazy that I broke it anyways. But in the neck, I fractured the C5 with a ligament tear. And that's what could have paralyzed me the rest of my life. Thank God. It just gets me every time I say that. Um, the lo in the lower back, I broke the L2 to L5 vertebrae. So I basically broke three in my lower back. But that was healable on its own. They didn't even need to do any surgery on that, which is crazy. And then I snapped my femur. Basically, I fractured it, but I like to say snapped because it sounds a little more intense. So I snapped the femur because the weight of the snowboard coming down and pushing from, from the slam, the weight of the board snapped it. So that's crazy in itself. And the stay in the hospital was ridiculous, man. I spent my 22nd birthday there, which I'll never forget that. But it was also the coolest birthday because I got so many gifts. I got like ridiculous amount of gifts from everybody. One of the best birthdays I ever had too, so. And then I had staples taken out of me. Or I had staples in my neck and my leg, so. That was a little interesting. It didn't hurt having them being taken out either, so... Oh, it was it was an interesting time. The whole reason why I'm making this video is to show you how fragile life is and hopefully open your eyes to making better decisions and, and knowing your limitations. Like, I always thought I was invincible when it came to stuff like this. Like, I could conquer anything if I just push it, push it as hard as I can. But sometimes there's, you know, there's a limit to what you can do. And with all the stuff I put my family through, I, my, my family thought I was like paralyzed, you know? I mean, all the money that it took to heal me and all, all the money for the surgeries and just, just all of this stuff that was created because of this crash just, wasn't worth the risk that I took and the worst feeling is when you, your family thinks you're in danger or dead that is that is an absolutely the worst feeling but I was so heavily medicated I didn't know but my dad told me what happened afterwards and, and my family was completely devastated and I don't want to put my family through that I don't want to put anybody through that I mean would you want to put your family through that it's just sometimes you gotta, I can't believe I'm saying this, but sometimes you gotta think before you act. You know, think of the consequences. And I'm making this video to try to help anybody who thinks they're invincible. And a lot of my fans, my Nutty Batuski fans, see me doing crazy things and I, I want to be a good influence, but I still want to do crazy things. But I just want to show my younger fans that you don't always have to do risks to be cool and to do all this crazy stuff and this crash put a lot of per things put a lot of things into perspective for me and i've learned a tremendous amount of things that i'm going to do but it hasn't stopped me from doing what i love i'm still going to snowboard but i'm not going to go off crazy jumps and do the crazy things i used to do because I have a lot more to live for. I'm only 22 years old. I mean, come on. What? Why do I need to risk it? I'm not going to become a professional snowboarder. So why go crazy with it? And I just, I want you guys to know that there's a lot more to life than just doing insane risks. And I hope you've learned something from this video. Because that's what my goal was. And I have a solution. Instead of being the guy going off the jump, why don't I be the guy behind the camera, filming the professional guy who knows what he's doing land the trick right. So problem solved. Think positive, take care, good night.